We could take off that way. <coughs> we'll see. It's all new. Mm -hmm. New country. You're our local coos deer expert, though. Am I? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you show me where to go. I have no idea where I'm going. Two does and a five on the skyline. Maybe through that saddle right up there. Just pop over and maybe set up for a little longer. Okay. Where we're looking back at see that knob back behind. Maybe back into that country a little bit. Sounds good. At least it's a deer. We just sat for a while, glassing, gridding this basin. Didn't see a whole lot, saw one doe right when we were leaving. But we're gonna just keep moving up this rim that Wade picked out and follow that all day. Just keep glassing little basins and stopping, setting up, grid it, keep moving. Before we came down here, I've been reading uh, this book, it's The Deer of the Southwest, which is by Jim Heffelfinger, who is another person who joined us in Arizona last year. And uh, so I've been learning a lot through that book. Very, It's kind of last minute study, and I'm actually still reading it back at camp. I'm like halfway through. But I'll be dropping some random knowledge bombs out of that book that I just stole straight from Jim. So just uh, be on the lookout for some, some, some gems. Have yet to see a buck. If we see a buck of any size, it's probably in trouble because I'm, I'm ready to see one of these things on the ground. I want to eat one. I'm really excited about eating one because I have yet to I have yet to eat one. Bodied, but I didn't see any antlers from in the bottom. It's definitely not a big buck, but could be a little one. It was walking. It appears to be a doe.
Dang. I was hoping we found a buck. Nope. Generally, when mule deer and whitetails occupy the same habitat in the western U.S., the mule deer are kind of in the mountains, foothills area, and the whitetails are down in the river bottom, riparian areas. But in the southwest, where the coos whitetail live, the coos are up in the mountains, and the mule deer down in the valley floors in the riparian areas. So it reverses for whatever reason. I don't know. You have to Google it. I didn't get that far. So you guys are gonna go up and around? It's the plan, I think. You wanna come or? Is no, it, yeah. hang out. Yeah, take it easy. Cool. Alrighty. Good we'll luck, go shoot man. a two point. I mean a big one. All right, anything. As long as it's the first one we see. All right. <laughs> All right. There's a deer. Do you want to fall? See him? Wow, dear. Just need some with the tiniest of antlers, and then he's legal. We're gonna find a deer here. We can see so much. I think I spotted a buck. Now I just have to find it again. Where did it go? Well, this is anticlimactic. Whole world's waiting. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, there it is. Locking in. Zooming in. Oh yeah. That's the kind of buck that uh, you shoot. It's a nice 4x4. Four four. Like, I don't know. I was going to shoot any any buck. So, yeah. This one looks great. Let's Let's go shoot that one. It looks fan really like really great. All right, he's a long ways away, and we don't have a ton of light, so this is gonna be a quick one. But we're gonna try to get down there and try to get to this knob. I'm hoping it's gonna be like a 300-yard shot. So here we go. <laughs>
Can you tell? No. What? I couldn't tell. Got him. Dropped him. I don't know if I hit him on that first shot or not. I couldn't tell. But he stopped again, and so I shot again, and he just dropped, and he's he's kicking. Oh. The second shot, he just dropped. He ran like 20 yards, maybe, to the right. And unfortunately, we just watched the footage, and I realized that uh, he walked out of frame right before I pulled the trigger. So. Unfortunately, we don't have the shot to show you, but you can listen to the audio. Um, but, oh well. I don't think kill shots are that important. I mean, it is what it is. I understand that people like to see that part of it, but to me, it's such a small, small fraction of the hunt. Like, it's not, it's not critical to the story, to me. There's so much more to it. There's the stock and the adventure and sharing all that time with your friends and, just being out in this amazing place, eating the animal after you've killed it, like, it's, this is such a small part of it, so. I, I don't care at all that we didn't get the shot, and I'm sorry if, if you were hoping to see that, but unfortunately we didn't get it. All right, let's just, let's just get over there. I'm excited, but I'm nervous, because I wanna, he dropped, and I could see his legs kicking, and then now, as soon as he stopped kicking, I don't see him, but I mean, I'm pretty, Pretty confident he's dead, but I want to get over there because it's gonna get dark quick. Whew, that was wild. <laughs> first day, first coos deer. Awesome. Let's get over there. Oh, he's laying there dead, I see him. Whew, that's a relief. Let's go check him out. Dude, we have coos deer meat for tonight. Yes. All right. This is the first coos deer, first buck that we spotted. That's pretty wild. They're tiny buggers, body size. I think he's a, I don't really know what I'm looking at, but I am more than happy with that buck. That is super cool. Oh man. Well, we got some work to do before it gets dark. Yeah, after chasing these suckers with with archery equipment last year and watching Randy chase him the year before that, it's really cool to, it's super cool to finally get my hands on one. I've been curious, I mean, they're so, they're so little, it's crazy. But, man, cool looking, cool looking box too, cool looking deer. That's awesome. I'm pumped. We have coos deer meat. I think that's what I'm most excited for. I was gonna shoot, shoot the first buck I saw, basically. I was considering shooting a spike. The only reason I was potentially not gonna shoot a spike was because of it, there being less meat.
All right, we finished cutting it up. We got a little while, a little ways out of here, I don't know. My, I'm not really sure, actually. A little over a mile, maybe? But some really steep and thick stuff to go through. A lot of cat claw, a lot of boulders, but we'll take our time, go slow. And uh, hopefully Wade's waiting back at camp with fire going and we'll throw some tenderloins or something on there and we'll have fresh coos deer tonight. I'm excited, but first we gotta get out of here, which might be an adventure. We'll see. Okay, so there's, there's some cliffs right there, it looks like. <laughs> She's a little rough, but totally worth it. <sighs> Halfway there. Did you get it done? Nice! That's first, awesome, dude! First buck we saw! <laughs> Congrats, man! Thanks. That's awesome! Yeah, I'm super excited. That is a good buck, too! Uh, yeah, I was ready to shoot any buck. That's a, super pumped with this one. Nice, dude! That's awesome! How did you get something? Something like that? That should work. Huh? Right there. Do an experiment. It saved a little bit of the call fat. We're gonna wrap one of the tenderloins in it and then the other one we're not. See what the taste difference is like. Mm -hmm. Two hours ago. I mean, we'll we don't eat the fat, but it just kind of like wraps it in, gets it a little greasier, a little, kind of solidified a little bit. We'll see how this works. You're gonna at least have a few bites of this, right? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We earned it. Heck yeah, we did. That was a pack out and a half. I looked at the GPS too and it was only it was 0.99 miles is all it was straight line, but it's just like freaking up and down and cat claw and rocks. <laughs> it's tasty. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Here it sizzling when it hit your mouth. That's super hot, <laughs> but really good. <laughs> yeah. It's better when you... It's you about know. an hour old, two so, hours old. When you just packed it off the mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, Earned it. Heck yeah. Dude, that's, yeah, that's really good. I like it. Yeah, that's good. Heck yeah.